Sup. In this tutorial, we're going to learn about fonts, loading custom fonts that we've downloaded onto our web page. Also, some of the different styles that we can use for uh, fonts and text on our page. Oh, welcome back. This tutorial is going to be awesome. We're going to learn about some fonts, different font sizes, and it's going to be insane. So just strap in, get yourself a nice cold drink, cook up some bacon, and let's get to it. Uh, we're going to learn about fonts and font styles in this tutorial. So let's just jump right into the CSS. We already set up our classes in the last tutorial. Um, we're going to go into our CSS file, and we're actually going to create some true sans serif fonts and some true serif fonts. So what serif means is it has those little tails on the end of the font, which we'll see. And sand means don't do that. So sand means no uh, tails on the end of our font. So and so let's go into our serif class and we're going to create a Times New Roman uh, font type for the serif class because generally Times New Roman is a serif type font. So we're going to define that by a font family. So what font family is going to do is it's going to say, hey, what kind of font do we want? And within quotations, we're going to say, hey, try to load up Times New Roman. And what's going to happen is if our browser can't load up like a heroin addict times New Roman, what it wants to default to is something else. So we're going to give it a second option of trying to load up uh, times if it can't load up times New Roman. And lastly, we're going to give it uh, the family that it's in. So it's a serif font family. And there we go. We have something and make sure we do our semicolon at the end there. And we have a serif type font within our serif class, which makes sense. Now let's go to sans serif and do something similar. We're just going to go font type or font family. I'm sorry. And this time we're going to do uh, Arial. And if we can't do Arial, uh, revert back to Helvetica. And both of those are sans serif. So let's save that. Save that. Check it out. Make sure it works real quickly. We reload our page. And if you look real closely, like on these T's, you can kind of see how there's a little a curve at the end of those T's, a little bit of style. That's what serif is. Um, if there is no, no like little curves or anything like that, that's going to be sans serif text. Uh, so that's something nice to know. But let's say we want to load a custom font, for example, this H2 or H1 um, headers. We can do that as well by defining H1 and H2 and loading up a font within here. Now I've created a new fonts folder and I downloaded a font from the internet ca called uh, Typester and it's an OTF file. So what we're going to do first, we're going to load up that file and I'm just going to do it here for the convenience of having it all on the same screen. But it, usually you want to load these uh, fonts up at the top of a CSS file. Um, but how you load up a font is you define font face and then within here, we want to give this font uh, a family name. So we're going to say font family. And it's just going to be like uh, types, uh, typester. You can give this whatever name you'd like, um, but this is going to be a reference when we actually stylize our H1 and H2 tags. After we do that, we want to load up the source of where this font actually is. And you do that by giving it a URL, and then we specify the location of our font. Sometimes you will use uh, a link attribute in the header of an HTML file and reference one of Google's fonts, and then you can uh, refer to it there. Um, this is if you actually load it up on your server. So we're going to say URL is forward slash fonts forward slash type typeoster dot otf. And that should load up our font so we can actually use this font family. So let's try that within our H1 and H2 properties. So again, we're just going to define what the font family is. And we're just going to say uh, typeoster. And hopefully that should load up that uh, font that we just downloaded and put it into our fonts folder that we created and display that. So let's check that out. And you can see we have a custom font now on our page. So that's kind of how the fonts work. Uh, let's say we actually want to adjust the size. Again, I'm sure you're familiar with this since pretty much everyone has used a, uh, you know, a notepad software. What we're going to do is change the font size of some of these uh, attributes. Maybe, for example, this special text. So for special text, we're going to say font uh, dash size. 
and generally you can do you know 16 pixels but a lot of again a lot of old browsers don't exactly know what pixels are they're like I don't know exactly what that is so we're gonna say font size instead to be 1 em and 1 em is equivalent to 16 pixels anytime you're trying to figure out hey I want 32 pixels well that's gonna be 2 em and generally you just have to use a calculator to find out you know like 24 pixels or you can just do it in your head but uh, that'd be like 1.666, I think, um, EMs, if you wanted to do 24 uh, pixels. But generally, this is the supported method of defining a font size um, by using something called EM. So that's something else that's kind of important um, in CSS. There's something called font weight, and this is going to be kind of like saying our font is bold. Uh, so the higher the weight, up to 1,000, I believe or 900 something like that it's going to give it a different boldness so we could give this either a boldness of 100 which will be slightly you know slightly bold or we could do like 700 and that will give it a more bold appearance we also can do uh, different font styles so font style could be either could be either normal which is what we have generally italic or there's also an oblique option as well, which is kind of italic, kind of uh, contorts the text a little bit more. Uh, we're just gonna go with this and save our project and reload our page. And we have this nice italic, larger font, and uh, it looks all right. So that's pretty much all we need to know for fonts as of right now. There's uh, font families. Again, that's saying, hey, what type of font are we loading up? or what type of uh, font can we use, and there's a lot of default options. If there isn't a default option, or if you don't think you can load it, give it a second parameter such as times or something that you know all browsers will load, uh, just in case if it can't load that original font, and then define what font family it's from, serif or sans serif. Um, generally, if you download a font, it will give you a serif version or a sans serif version, and you just wanna define that there. So again, it's a quick tutorial, but uh, we learn a little bit more about fonts and styling and uh, all that good stuff. So thanks again for watching, guys. Please subscribe and like these videos, share them with your friends. Obviously, like share it with your grandmother because she's going to want to develop a website on how to knit sweaters for kittens, and we're going to help her do that. So guys, thanks again, and have a great rest of your day.